Good morning. Morning. All right. One good thing. Give me one good thing, Jesse. Um, I have two hot boomtown leads that um that came in last night. Nice. Too hot. Too fresh off the. Yeah. Fresh off the uh-huh. press. Boomtown leads. Okay, I like it. Nice. Good. Good. Christian, what you got? One good thing about your business. Um. I was able to nurture one um, archive on Boomtown. She's not doing anything this year, but um, the next year she might be able to buy. So. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> well, um, <clears throat> I want you to focus on your ability to um, dig in on those um, those Boomtown and Brevity leads, uh, mm-hmm. those follow ups, and, uh, and and get to know the people, right? Mm-hmm. Like really, really get to know those people your friendliness, mm-hmm. which you do so naturally, uh, combined with your inquisitiveness, which you we've given you in regards to the, um, the playbook is going to help, mm-hmm. help you figure out, you know, what's going on and, and to just get closer to them, right. Just mm-hmm. get closer to them. All right, Alex, what you got one good thing in your business. Uh, buyer consultation today at 1230. Woo. Buyer <laughs> consultation. All right, baby. Nail it. Nail it. Buyer rep agreement, right? Yep. Kill it, baby. Get it. Get it. Z, what you got? One good thing. Um, my friend is going to be ready to buy in San Antonio now. So <clears throat> I'm going to be helping her out. Okay. Got a, you got a, somebody in your sphere ready to buy? Yes. I like it. Nice. That's always good. Sphere. Um, maybe we talk a little bit of sphere today before we tie up. Um but uh, we'll get there. Okay. Hi, Sharla. Hi. Hi. Are you? Uh, uh, in the- Sorry. Okay. That's all right. Northwest, you- Northwest Market Center. I just started with the Miles Group. Miles Group. Gotcha. Okay. Awesome. <clears throat> and what's your? What are you starting doing? What's your position there? I'm their new ISA. ISA. Okay. Great. All right. So, um, uh, welcome. And uh, power hour is going to be about um, having good conversations and figuring out uh, because real estate is all about relationships. And because relationships are all about conversations, then um, what we're focused on with real sales talk in the morning is uh, the power of your conversations. Okay. Cool. Okay. So just hang along and sit along for the ride here and just listen in and for your first day and uh, we'll kind of just take it as it goes. All right. Let me share my screen here with you guys on um, pre-qualifying. Okay, I'm gonna rip through this pretty quick, okay? Because um, I'm gonna figure, I, wanna, I want you guys to role play this a little bit. And then I also wanna talk a little bit about sphere. Um, pre-qualifying, okay, look, pre-qualifying, I'm on page, let me move this, 62 of the playbook, of the new playbook, 2022 playbook. If you don't, if you guys still need a copy of the new playbook, um, email me. Um, the real sales talk at gmail.com, the real sales talk at gmail.com. And I'll send you a copy of the new playbook. <clears throat> and as for as money changes as I really want to make right now, I'm going to hold off until the end of the year, except for a couple of little things for my team. So, um, this will work, this will, this will ride for the rest of 2022. Okay. Pre-qualifying pre-qualify hundred percent of the time, hundred percent of the script. Okay. Um, well, I'm pre-qualifying for motivation really in situation. Right. So am I pre really pre-qualifying hundred percent of the time? Is that really happening? Buyer or seller, right? Cause this is a pre-qual uh, we're going to uh, role play a pre-qual seller, but uh, uh, pre-qualifying the buyer. Okay. Now I'm going to run through this super duper fast. What pre-qualifying really does. It's going to save you hours, days, weeks, and times. Uh, hours, days, and weeks of time, and and honestly, thousands of dollars, guys, because uh, pre-qualifying really is the most underestimated part of real estate. Most agents don't pre-qualify. More agents don't pre-qualify consistently. I still have to struggle with making sure that I'm pre-qualifying because we get caught up in uh, they really got to go or it was a really good conversation or it's a uh, a sphere. Okay. Or uh, you feel for whatever reasons going on in your brain that um, you don't want to bother them. Look, I promise you compromise your, your standards, compromise your what, Alex? 
Come on, man. You got to get this one in your skull. Compromise your standards. Compromise your what, Jesse? Income. 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 Okay, so what are my standards? Pre-qualifying 100% of the time, 100% of the script. Okay? Who wants clients that, that just follow everything that they say? Who wants that? Do this. Who wants that? Clients who do what they say. Okay? Who wants clients that understand um, um, the fact that the market's tough and that uh, some of the advice that you're giving them is good for them, even if they are not completely down with it initially? Who wants that? Look, pre-qualifying helps me understand just how qualified they are, Nancy, right? So that they'll follow what I say. Okay. So since most agents don't pre-qualify, doing it will set you apart from the competition and clearly demonstrate yourself as a true professional. Since most agents don't do it, this in itself is going to differentiate you because subconsciously they're going to go, oh, wow. Okay. I'm, Christian's really interested in what, I'm, what I want. They, it doesn't happen here. It happens back here, right? Like, oh, wow. Okay. I'm really talking to a professional. Okay. Uh, Pre-qualifying, it, it separates the have to's from the really need to's or well, it, it separates the, the, the like to from the have to's or the really, really need to's. Cause that, that's who look in this, oh, for God's sake, Jesse, in this market for buyers, I, I really, I, I, I want a really, really need to. Well, it's not doing it right. Okay. I need a really, really need to, I need that mm -hmm. Okay, for buyers. They look, if, if, if buyers are going to win, they need to do everything you're telling them to do and, and more maybe sometimes. Okay. So I need highly, highly, highly motivated prospects here. If they're not at least an eight out of a 10, especially for the list for the uh, buyers, for the sellers too, though, look, um, the sellers could sell in spite of themselves, but uh, what happens if you take somebody who's a six or a seven on motivation and uh, their ability to follow what you're saying later on down the road? High or low, Christian? Um, low. Low. Yeah. They, it's, they don't really want to listen to you if they're not that motivated. Motivation equals cooperation. That's a golden rule in the playbook. Okay. It, uh, um, building rapport is important, but remember true relationships are built on trust, which takes time. Initially, your main focus will need to be pre-qualifying thoroughly to better connect with communication that better understands them. So you can service them better so that they can trust you faster. All those things are going to happen when you're pre-qualifying. You should have this pre-qualifying script everywhere. We got it on our mojo so that when we're talking to people, we can just click over to it quickly and stick to the script to extract as much information as possible. Look, don't skip questions on pre-qualifying. I promise you it'll bite you in the ass later. Okay. Um, so you can get these critical questions sooner in the conversation because there's critical questions in the pre-qualifying script that you guys can uh, be asking. Now, when it says uh, 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 keep your pre-qualifying script everywhere, by the way, you can use those questions, uh, uh, Christian, when you're, when, you don't know what else to say. When you want the con when you feel like there's good exchange going back and forth, jump right into it. You don't have to officially pre-qualify because when do I pre-qualify? Alex, when should I pre-qualify? Um, in like when you go three deep, right? When I go three deep, uh, no, that was a good, you pulled like a good polyism out there, but no. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> three deep. When should I pre-qualify? Repeat it for move? <laughs> um, after you set the appointment. Uh, how, what's that? So you said after you said um, five. After five. I set the appointment. Yep. After I set the appointment. So I should pre-qualify after I set the appointment. Okay. Um, on that same call, or if you can't get it on that same call, when you call back for the confirmation appointment. Okay. Now look, you could though sneak into a pre-qualify right in the middle of the conversation. Right in the middle of the conversation. You may not use the exact, especially on the listing, uh, the listing prequal, you may not use that exact um, prequal right up front, um, the first question in regards to you setting the appointment, but you can slip into those questions and start moving into those questions because they're important questions because they dig in on situation motivation. Okay, pre-qualifying draws out objections before the appointment. Who wants to know the answer to the test before they take it? Yeah, Nancy, that, that, that it draws out the objections so that I can do what? Prepare for them. You know now that uh, it, that friend could be an issue here who's an agent. 
They got a friend in the business. You know that it's about price. You know that it's about commitment to a buyer rep. This really draws out the objections and Dominic and Christian. Uh, look, you want more of your appointments to show up so that you can get them under contract so that you can get bonused. Yeah, I want, I, I, want, I want my agent to be prepared for the appointment so they have a much higher chance of being able to convert that appointment into a contract. Pre-qualifying helps you cancel appointments. What? Yeah, look, Alex, man, get them out of the way if they're not, if they shouldn't be in the way, if they shouldn't be uh, in your path, get them off the path. Get them out of the way, man. You don't want to keep talking to people that you don't want to keep talking to. False or true, Alex? True. Yeah. Yeah. Get them out of the way, man. Bad, bad. You, look, some of your bad leads, some of the, some of the leads that you have are bad leads because you you don't you don't know enough about them. Okay, you're pre-qualifying right now technically, but all those questions that are in the playbook, all those questions that allow you to figure out situation, motivation, all those questions that are there help you figure out, is, is this a qualified lead? Is this somebody I should keep talking to? Because some of those bad leads, Alex, are hiding your good ones. They're, they're keeping you from getting to them faster. Okay, so pre-qualifying helps you set standards. Okay, on who you're going to work with. And pre-qualifying finally is going to help your confidence because um, uh, pre-qualifying really helps uh, you become more confident in who you are and what you do and what you say. Okay, questions, comments, concerns, delusions on the overview of pre-qualifying. Give it to me now because we're going to jump in. No? Good? Okay. <clears throat> All right, so the listing pre-qual. So uh, here's what I want you to do. Mm. Let's, uh, let's jump into a um, listing prequal quickly. So here's what I want you to do. Christian, break them up. Let me see. I got to give you the... Christian, make sure you ask me that at the beginning of each session, okay? Okay. All right. All right, so um, have uh, Sharla um, uh, in with somebody because she's going to just shadow. So Sharla with two other people, two, four, six. Yeah, there's six, not including me, okay? So break them up and then uh, let me know when you're ready to, to send them out because here's what I want you guys to do. Move through the listing presentation uh, quickly, quickly, quickly. The listing presentation prequal. Whatever one you have, if you don't have an old playbook, just use it, but it's on page 64 of the new playbook. Okay. So if you have an old one, just use it, move through it quickly. Okay. Super duper quick. Eight minutes. You ready, Christian? Okay, and I want you guys to push back a little bit uh, because when you're asking questions, sometimes I'm pre-qualifying. They say some stuff like, well, do I have to answer all these questions? Well, I'm really busy right now. And you got to keep them on. You got to keep them on pace. Why did my video mm -hmm. stop? Okay, you got to keep them on pace and on track with, hey, let me just get these quick cu couple of questions in before we, uh, before we meet because it's going to help keep our appointment time frame nice, you know, nice and efficient and effective so I don't waste a lot of your time. So just let me, let me move through a few of these questions right here. So tell me again, why is it important to consider selling or whatever the next best question is? You got to keep them on track, Alex. So if they try to get off track, you got to keep them on track and explain to them uh, quickly the importance of the listing presentation, uh, the pre-qualifying of what you're doing. Hey, this is important because it'll, it'll, it'll save us a lot of time. So we don't, we don't have to sit there for, for you know, longer than we have to. Christian, you ready? ready? Paul. Yep. Okay. All right. Listing presentation pre-qual. Move fast. I want you to do it quickly. Break them up. 